I found it, or um, this is on criticism, part two, only because um, I couldn't find on part one um, the review that I wanted to talk about from Paul, who 19 days ago wrote, Do you like Joyce, Beckett, Gaddis, Brach, Pinchon, DFW, Nadish, Bolaño, DeLillo, Proust, and all the rest? Are you a fan of the Dalkey Archive? Then you will not like this book because it is terrible. A fifth-rate imitation of far better authors packaged into the non-exist. Read full review. Okay. The non-existent genre of big postmodern novels that so many folks on GR, Goodreads, seem to think exists. I sincerely don't know why I'm bothering to write this. Never just as a point, uh, you know, don't, 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 don't say that, you know, because you, you know why you're doing it. Anyway, um, but to anyone who has stumbled across this book's URL, please do not spend money on it. Please do not spend money on, on it. <laughs> and keep in mind that all the positive reviews are from accounts that have one to two reviews total. That is, these aren't real reviews. And or from what appear to be friends of the author, one of many tiny subcultures of terrible, quote, experimental authors on Goodreads, who constantly plug each other's mediocre work. Uh, writing overwrought five-star reviews on each other's author pages. It reminds me of the hordes of amateurish, amateurish band camp musicians or flicker photographers who do the same thing. Naughty boys and girls. Um, giving each other positive reviews and then wondering why no one actually purchases or enjoys their work. They're just, there's just something so enervating and faintly depressing about it. Uh, but wait, did you know that Rick Harsh attended the Iowa Writers Workshop? A as did many hundreds of other writers you've never heard of? Did you know that he somehow convinced Stephen Moore to write an ambiguously semi-positive blurb for this terrible book? Of course, no one on earth gives a shit about these two facts, but I know them simply because this super serious author, Rick Harsh, literally sent me a five-paragraph email on GR whining about my one-star review, LMAO. Honestly, one of the saddest, funniest things I've ever seen on this website. I don't know. Look, am I being a little mean here? Maybe. Should I be making fun of terrible writers and their attempts to succeed? Probably not. Could I be wrong? I mean, I've read 2,000-plus novels and would say I have a pretty good sense of what high-quality literature is, but yes, absolutely, I could be wrong. But for fuck's sake, someone needs to write an honest review. If you don't believe me, just read some excerpts here. If you can get through even one of these passages and think to yourself, man, I want to spend actual money on a 700-page physical version of this, then by all means, buy the book. <laughs> that's, that's the review that um, I... I, you know, I, I was, um, uh, it, 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 I saw it just yesterday and I thought, fuck, you know, why didn't the guy write the review in the first place? If you're going to give a one star review and you want to hurt someone, why don't you do that? And then, you know what I figured out? I know who it is. There's this guy, Paul, who, um, attacks Writers in the uh, um, what what did what do you call it the uh, um, big postmodern novel non-existent genre um, the Stephen Moore people uh, as he calls them elsewhere and the reason I found out about this guy is that he attacked one of my authors Jeff Bercy. Um, it wasn't, uh, it's experimental, I guess. He doesn't like that either. And um, Bercy is this terrific 
Canadian writer who hasn't gotten a lot of att attention outside of uh, certain circles, uh, but he certainly deserves it. And when I got the chance to publish a fresh Percy novel, I leapt at it. And in fact, one of the next uh, books that we're going to print at Corona Samizda is a book of short stories by Bercy. I can't wait to see it. And because uh, uh, I, I don't need to read Bercy before I publish him because I know he's great. So anyway, this this guy, Paul, apparently has been has been doing this for like five years. And um, and he attacked Bercy, another one star review. But he gave himself away because what he <laughs> what he did um, was he quoted the opening passage of Bercy's novel that I published. And uh, and that opening passage had been published uh, somewhere by Bercy, but since then, Bercy had changed it. So the guy had actually shown that he hadn't read the book. And Bercy said to me, when I, you know, I, you know, I'm, a, um, I don't give a shit about myself. Um, you know, it's kind of like blood. You know, if you cut yourself, it's kind of interesting and fun. But when you see someone else cut, it, it turns your stomach and you feel bad. It's like that with me and the uh, um, reviews. I find bad reviews of my work fascinating and, and interesting. But, you know, my authors, you know, I, 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 I call them my authors. But, I, I mean, I feel like I don't know how to describe the experience of being a, a publisher of a small press and the relationship with the authors is somewhat proprietorial. Proprietorial? I don't know. Paul would. But, I mean, after reading 2,000 plus books, he surely knows that. But um, I've read more than 20. Maybe more than 200. I don't know. Can't think about it. I mean, 62 years old. Maybe if you say 10 a year. Uh, I don't know. I really don't. Not 2,000, not, not, not Paul. But Paul here attacked Bercy, and, and I said, don't, you, you know, you can't do that, you know, because you didn't even read the book, obviously. Bercy said to me, Rick, don't worry about it. Uh, we know this guy, and, you know, <clears throat> the, he just wants to argue and fight. With, he's got this gripe about people supporting each other in this kind of way. And, uh, but I kept arguing with him until he quit. And, uh, and so, um, the thing that I wanted to get across to Jeff Bercy is, yeah, I, I, I don't care about Paul, but 13 people liked his, his review of Jeff's book. So I wasn't talking to Paul. I was talking to the 13 people. You know, you're, you're being lied to. Uh, the guy didn't read the book. And, you know, and there's no evidence that he read mine either. Um, probably he didn't. Um, you know, I, I, I can see why he's upset with me because I, I really, uh, um, I tore him a new asshole, as my dad would say. Uh, I'm good at these arguments. I, I'm better at these arguments than I am at writing, just ask Paul. Um, but, you know, the, the one thing I do want to do uh, take the time for here to respond to is not the quality of my work. Um, uh, there are a couple of mistakes. He, he did, you know, he doesn't want anyone to buy my work, but basically my press has been more supported by this book than any other. Um, a lot of people have bought it, have read it. And, um, there's, uh, Maybe, I don't remember if he's the only one who hasn't liked it and let me know. I mean, he hasn't read it, but I'm sure some people have. And you can bet, I've, I've sold about 163, I think. Um, maybe, you know, about that many. Um, so it is selling pretty well for a small press, basically mail order press. <clears throat> it's a nice copy of the book, too. My, I got a great printer, and they're cheaper than those in the United States. But what I don't like is him attacking the people who um, who read or who 
who did read it and did write reviews. So I'm, I'm just going to, if I can find how to get back here, it's, I'm, I'm not, okay, maybe this? I just want to go back a page. All right, who read my book? Uh, <clears throat> Chris Villa, um, who is an independent reviewer and uh, is doing very well. Uh, he's got a great YouTube channel. And um, that's how I've sold most of my books, is people like Chris Villa. And he did a great review of my book. He doesn't know me. He didn't know me. Uh, I, we know each other now because he's read three of my books and um, done a couple of um, nice reviews of them. But um, I don't like this guy insulting the integrity of Chris Villa. Uh, nor, uh, who did not, uh, is not my friend, or wasn't before, we're friendly now, but, you know, uh, he, he reviews every everybody, I mean, not everybody, but he, you know what I'm saying, or if you don't, call me. All right, but let me get to the first review is um, Todd Kim, great friend of mine, we met at the Iowa Writers Workshop, he published uh, a book of mine. And uh, the thing that I would say about a friend publishing a review of a friend is maybe their friendship rests in part on mutual admiration for the work, but it might not. So you can, you know, it could be that you're giving five stars because it's your friend. And if that's the case, let's all thank Todd for helping me out. Thanks, Todd. There's Giuliano Vivaldi who is a recent uh, um, literary friend. Uh, we don't live in the same place, but he gets by here. I've met him two or three times um, through love of Roberto Arlt. In fact, he actually says here, since I know the author through a joint love of Roberto Arlt, anyway, he gives it a five-star review. Um, then there's L.S. Popovich, who I met... Um, through my writing on Goodreads, um, he read this, and then we we began Goodreads corresponding, and uh, so that's not a I, I, he does we weren't we didn't do it out of uh, uh, friendship. Uh, he did it because he's L. S. Popovich, ordered the book because he thought it might be interesting to him, loved the book, gave it five stars. Honest man. Here's a guy. Um, you can go through, so I, I'm not giving any. John Faith read it, and uh, um, he gave it four stars. Um, is that because he's not my friend, or are we not friends because of that? I don't know. I don't care. I like a four-star review. I think I made that clear before. Um, did I like this one yet? No, now I have liked it. Oh, wait, I'm, I'm using my wife's phone, so she liked it. Um do you like the four-star review? Okay, uh, Kevin Adams, uh, someone I met because he read and loved this book. Um, uh, <clears throat> here's what he started with. No, I didn't read this amazing work of genius in a day, though I could have. My GR list timing is all messed up. Was I did start reading the second it arrived, like when I received my first bicycle. I know he says a lot of nice things, but is he saying it because he's my friend? Well, we aren't corresponding, but he he's read other stuff of mine and liked it. Michael Welch, friend. You know why he wrote this review? I said, Mike, you've got to read this book. And then, you know, write a review. And uh, he did. L, I don't remember who L is. So if we're friends, we probably aren't anymore. Five stars. David Bartman. Now, great friend. We met at the Iowa Writers Workshop. We've remained friends because of a high regard for the character and, and writing of each other. Not the writing so much as the character, but now I published David Bartman, and he's getting nothing but great reviews from me. Yeah, I think I did write one. Oh, or did I? I don't know. I should write one. But 
people really are finding a new author because he's my friend. As a friend, I supported him. And uh, 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 as a friend, I love his work. And is there something wrong with that? You know, I was talking to David today about this. And I said, you know what? I, I'm always a little, little unsure, a little nervous when it's a friend of mine uh, and I say it's a great book. Am I right? You know, am I am I am I uh, fucked up a little in my view because the guy's a friend? I might be, and you know what? No apologies for that. Friendship is more important than than uh, the literary business. You'll find out if you're in the literary business. Finding good friends is 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 as rewarding as a good review. It really is, and so. If if I err on that side, then fine. Uh, what could have happened is I I erred because of you know I I'm friends with David Bartman and so I give him a, a really great review and then I publish him and then everybody says this guy sucks why did, how did he get published but you know the opposite is happening people are discovering David Bartman and they love him and uh, I I'm I I I'm not happy because I'm right. I'm happy because I love David Vardaman. So um, I I guess my point is pretty clear is that the uh, friendship um, sometimes involves doing things for friends because they're your friends. Now there are more reviews to this and uh, I don't know which ones they are but um, most of them are not friends of mine. Um, but I like them because they gave me good reviews, and I like, uh, well, I don't like Paul because he's a nasty fucker, and, and he's dishonest. Um, he, he reviews things that he doesn't write, uh, or read, sorry. Um, do you like Joyce, Beckett, yes, yes, Gaddis, Brock, sorry, behind, Pinchon, less than most do, uh, DFW, no, uh, not in love with him. Uh, Nadash, I tried reading one book, couldn't. Bolaño, I need to read a lot more, but I love 2666. Uh, Delillo threw one of his books into a ditch, but I'm going to give him another chance. I'm going to read White Noise, and I'm going to read um, Underworld. But uh, uh, Libra went into a ravine, uh, as I hated it. Uh, Proust... Um, and all the rest. I mean, what? So, Joyce, Beckett, Gaddis, Proust, Bolaño. Not does. What's he trying to say here? People who write, because I, I don't. I'm not sure of the. These are not all the same types of writers. You know, are you a fan of the Dalkey Archive? Well, they don't exist anymore. Um, I became less of a fan after a while because. Um, you know, not all the books that the, they're, you know, they're oppressed. I yeah, I was a fan because they, you could find things that you couldn't find elsewhere. But, um, you know, I, you know, I, I got, I got some really great books. I got Gilbert, uh, Sorrentino, put him on your list, pal. Uh, Mulligan Stew, great book. Um, let's see, uh. So if you like anything, you won't like this, is basically what he's saying. But anyway, that's, you know, it, he's, he's, he was, I wrote him, Rick Harsh literally sent me a five paragraph email whining about my one star review. No, 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 no. I did write him. I don't know how many paragraphs. If he says five, maybe it was five. But I, I was curious. You know, I wanted to, to open a dialogue, not to change his mind, but like, find out who you, who are you? Well, it turns out he's the guy who's been fighting with people on Goodreads since, you know, like, like for at least five years before I even joined. And, uh, um, and everybody knew it when I started fighting with him because I didn't want people who read him to get the wrong idea about Jeff Bercy because this guy is a mean motherfucker knows Bercy is um, 
uh, acquainted with certain people on uh, um, on this site. It's not just the writers this guy hates. He hates the people who support the people he hates. Um, and uh, I could name a couple names because I remember back uh, when this was going on, um, he was attacking uh, one guy in particular whose reviews I found amazing, generous, long, intelligent, and uh, he was attacking that guy by name. Uh, it, was, it was pretty amazing. Um, anyway, so, um, but for fuck's sake, someone needs to write an honest review. If you don't believe me, just read some excerpts here. Um, so going to, I, we're going to go to there just to see what he's talking about. I'll read an excerpt. Um, yet Harsh plays no tricks with time. His modern characters are modern and his historical characters are, well, historical. Um, I don't know, is it, it, I'm not getting the, uh, um, uh, oh, gee, Ah, my favorite of Harsh's tricks are the Rabelaisian lists. For this novel, maybe... Oh, okay. It, it's a... I don't know if you can see on there, but uh, it's not giving... It's it's getting cut off, uh, so I can't read full sentences. Yeah. Well, anyway. Uh, oh, okay. Ah, oh, shit. Uh, one of my favorite blurbs from Scott Cofell, a, a, a poet I went to the workshop with, whose work is my favorite poetry, along with Seshu Foster's in the United States. Um, and uh, But that's cut off, too. God damn it. Anyway, uh, check with me on criticism, because I'm going to, uh, after this, not today, maybe not today, um, I'm going to... Uh, right. I, I'm going to write. I'm going to review shortly. I mean, in, in, I mean, in a short fashion, I'm going to make a compact video of what I think are the 25 best United States novels. Although I'm going to, as the one I'm taking off from, I just saw one of those and I got a kick out of it. And I thought I'll do one of my own. And uh, I'm going to make it 25. I think he made it 20 or whatever, and uh, um, it's not that I didn't like his list, What I, 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 it's not that I didn't like anything, I, I just, no, I, I didn't, there was one thing I didn't like, he said it was okay to skip parts of Moby Dick, and I, to me, that's sacrilege, you don't, you, you know, if you love Moby Dick, why would you skip any of it, if you don't love Moby Dick, yeah, that's a big crowd you can join, don't, don't worry about it, but uh, yeah, but then throughout the rest of the, the video, he kept, saying praising things for their brevity you know and he used the word short and and brief and little uh, so often and and in praising books he did include gaddis the rec uh the recognitions but i, I just kept laughing at how you know the short thing the you know, short 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 short, short. Uh, i might have as many short books as him i don't know but uh that's coming up next on uh criticism I don't know what the fuck I'm doing, do I? I mean, other people have, you know, fancy signs and things like that. I, I just don't know how to do any of that. Um, you know, I could do something like this. Like, here's William Clark. He's not a friend of mine, but I like him. And he is an expert prose man. Proseman, I think they call him in Canada. He's a Canadian. And this book, I'm almost done. Uh, yeah, yeah, I printed it uh, without reading it. I loved what he wrote before, but um, I printed it. I decided to print it before I even wrote his other, read his other stuff. He sent it to me. It turned out to be great. And so is this. This guy is a prose master. So, uh, you know, it's just friends supporting friends. Sorry. <laughs>